Happy Tuesday! Thank you for joining me. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, where we can relax and craft and we can work through a project together. Uh, we're working on the Splendid, or no, we're not working on the Splendid Sampler. We're working on the Charming Chevrons quilt. Uh, I'm gonna sew the two side borders onto the back of the quilt tonight. And I also wanted to share with you uh, my new embroidery kit. So I, uh, this is one of the new embroidery kits, a little llama, and I shot a video today on how to make this super cute uh, yarn wrapped hoop with little tassels at, at the bottom there. So uh, you guys, if you are on my newsletter, my email list, if you get my emails right now, uh, then stay tuned for the email tomorrow where I, I'll have the video on how to do this really cute uh, tassel yarn wrapped hoop in it. So be sure to check that out. If you're not on my email yet, uh, just click the link below uh, to penguinandfish.com and there will be a link to join the newsletter there. And uh, I wanted to show you the other kits as well. So I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll get started. I'm having a big sale for my kits. This is the first time I'm kind of showing them all to you. And uh, they're up to the they're up on the website for the first time uh, today. And we're having a sale for this next uh, three more days yet for uh, the new kits. So all right, guys, I'm going to flip you around and I'll show you the new kits and then we'll get sewing these borders. So thanks for joining me again. I'm going to flip you around. All right, here is uh, this guy, we got him all pinned yesterday with the with the wonder clips. So I'm just going to shush him to the side for now so I can show you these uh, these kits again. So here is that that llama a little bit more. It's so fun with the little tassels, isn't it? So I do a little step by step of how to do the entire uh, yarn, the yarn hoop and uh, as a frame with, and I show you how to do the little tassels on it too. So uh, stay tuned for that video that will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube, you might get the, you might see it tonight yet, but um, tomorrow I'll have the email with the, with the direct link if you would like to decorate a hoop like this. And then the llama is one of our new kits. Uh, I wanna just show you, show you the new kits. Um, we have the llama, like I said. So this is how they come. Uh, they have all the things you need uh, to get stitching in the back there. And, oh, kitty on the way. Oh, Paula, I, um, if you place the order before today, uh, and if you wanted any other ones, I will uh, make sure that you get that discount still. Um, oh, and if you wanted, so you guys, I'm having a special deal if you get all six of the new, there's six new kits, and if you get all six, then it, there's a 25% off on that order, plus you get two bonus patterns as well. So if you already ordered a kitty, or if you've gone to Joann's and ordered, or bought a few of the kits already, um, and you want all six of them, let me know and I will be sure to discount you for the ones that you've already purchased so you can still... Oh, you responded to your email, so you got the discount. Oh, awesome, that's great, Paula. Yeah, okay, so here's the little beagle. I love him. We're gonna have to do a little stitch up of this guy. This guy, if, if you guys remember way back when, we did a little watercolor session here on this Relax and Craft show, and we actually drew and painted him during one of the Relax and Crafts, and finally, you know, like a year or two later, maybe even three years, he's t he, we turned him into a little, little kit here. So we got the beagle, and then we have a whole new format that we're doing this time around, and I know some of you guys have seen the kitties, so... Uh, the kitties, it comes with a customizable alphabet sheet, and in the back you can actually see it. So our new our new format, you can actually see through the back. You can see all the supplies here. But it comes with an alphabet sheet, um, so you can put whatever name you want on the inside. Or you don't have to. I mean, you know, the other day in in our other video, I just stitched a, the stitched the one up and made it into a little pin. I did a little video of this a couple days ago, um, so you guys might have seen this one. Uh, 
But yeah, otherwise you can, you know, if you have a new family member, you can stitch the little kind of wreath and put in their name. And uh, we have a, a puppy version of, of this as well. So here are the little, little puppies. Um, I like the little pink dude. He's got a sweater. But again, it comes with the alphabet sheet here. Uh, so you can make like a wall art with the ribbon. You can frame it. Um, so something like this would be really cute with, uh, with the yarn and the tassels and stuff too. Like the little puppy with like blue yarn around, I think would be really cute. So anyway, so we have the puppies and the kitties. And uh, so all the kits are on sale for 15% off for these next four days. But if you get all six of them, that's when you get the 25% 20 off and the special bonuses. And I'll show you those in a sec here. But then I have little dinosaurs. So this is Dino Pals. So this is kind of more of a sampler. So you can cut these up and move them wherever you want, or you can just stitch it as a, as a piece like this. Again, you can see all the supplies in there. So this one, if you guys remember, this is from that fabric collection that we never actually made. So I turned them into embroideries instead. I think they're super cute. Oh, and uh, this guy we did a little video for. Uh, we did a, uh, if you saw the YouTube, three different ways you can stitch the same guy. So this is the, the way that it is in the kit, just where you go on the outlines. And then we have uh, where you, instead of stitching right on the outlines, uh, I did one where you stitch on the inside. So this is like coloring, you fill it all in. And uh, I put a little bit of outlines in there just to define some of the shapes. And then another one where you stitch on the outside of all the lines, so you end up with kind of a, a silhouette. So if you ever want to play around, get creative with uh, a design a little bit more, uh, here, are, here are a couple options to play around with. I, I could have done these as flowers, I could have done these as, you know, whatever decorative stitch I wanted here. Um, but as long as you stay on the outside and it's kind of densely stitched, you'll be able to see the character on the inside there. I personally like this little green dude. <laughs> All right, so that's the dinos. And then we have the little safari pals. I like the little elephant dude. Got a wildebeest in there, so if you ever... <laughs> I know you've been yearning to embroider a wildebeest, right? <laughs> well, here is uh, the safari pals. And this is the last of the six new kits. So then I have the two bonus ones, and the bonus ones are actually uh, ones that we didn't end up uh, having at Joanne Fabrics. So all these other ones will be at Joanne's. So uh, you can find them. Uh, it's not at all Joanne's, but if you have, if you have tip, if you typically have embroidery stuff at your Joanne's, then then it should be at Joanne's. But here are two. If you buy all six kits in the in the next uh, three days. Uh, you'll get uh, some bonus patterns too. So you'll get a fishies version of that little wreath where you can put the name in. So these will be all PDF patterns. So when you get the whole six kit bundle, then you'll instantly get these in your in your email. But so it has um, you know it has all the instructions still. It has the alphabet sheet uh, in here as well. So you can put a name in. So little fishes sharks, little hammerhead. And then also the other one is the little space pals, guys. So little sun, I kind of like the moon. But yeah, so those are the two free ones that are available right now when you get the whole, all six of the kits. So that is it, guys. Um, uh, thanks again for letting me, me share. And remember, uh, tomorrow on the email, I just want to keep like combing through these. Tomorrow on my email, I'll have a little tutorial on how to make this super cute. Ooh, and then the back's cute too. The uh, yarn, the yarn wrapped hoop with, with the little tassels. So, all right. Now, back to business here. I have the... Uh, uh, back of the quilt and you guys if you have any questions about the kits just let me know and and I can answer them here and I'll have um, I'll have the answers to some of the questions in in tomorrow's email as well I'm gonna write it when we're done here so all right tonight I mean we are getting bulky here so I did put 
I did bring up the uh, TV tray and I set it to the side of me here. So now I have kind of an L shape. So I'm hoping that helps alleviate um, the weight of this. Oh, I thought I had this all set up, but oh, here we go. Um, oh no, this way. So I'm hoping it helps alleviate the weight of all of this bulk. But anyway, we're gonna just start sewing. We'll get this side done. We'll flip it around, do the other side. And that will really be it tonight. Uh, tomorrow, we will be back in the living room behind me here and we'll press them open. And then we will attach with the clips again, we'll attach the um, top and bottom borders. And then we'll be back here the next day and sewing those up. So, all right, let's get on to this tonight though. Let's shimmy down to the sewing machine. Okay, here we are. Now this should go rather smoothly. We pinned it well yesterday and man, I can already tell all of the bulk is sitting on that uh, TV stand right now and <laughs> already it's better. Like it's not on my lap. I'm not trying to figure out how to throw it all over my soul or my shoulder and it's not on the floor. So, so far total win <laughs> and we fairly even started for the um, for the TV stand there. Uh, the one thing is that I'm pretty crowded here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sewing in this really small space. So that's just like one more thing that's crowding me, but you know what, it's not too bad. As long as I can get to the sewing machine, we're fine. I don't really need to access the iron or anything. So we should be fine. Just need to shimmy up every once in a while. And that is it. And I know a lot of you got the kits already, so thank you so much. Um, I will be starting to get them together tomorrow, so they might even ship this week yet. Um, so stay tuned. It will. They will be there. Uh, be to you in in no time. Ooh. Oh, I thought for a sec that I ran out of bobbin thread, but nope. Just need to keep things shimmying up. Oh, Michelle, you have the, the fabric for the Safari Pals. Yep, so this will match, uh, the Safari Pals kit matches the fabric. I'm hoping this weekend to also get um, my husband's great-grandmother's sewing machine up and running. Uh, we got a cord, or we got wires, I guess, for it um, over last weekend, but we didn't get any further with it. Um, the We just needed a new plug, so I'm trying to get the plug cord to, um, you know, to wrap around the little, I don't know, all the electricity things, electricity terms, but um, the little knobbies that have the wires, I gotta um, stick the new ones on the, onto there. And I actually have to undo the wiring because on the table, it has to the wiring has to come up through the table and there's a little hole, but you have to undo the, the stupid wiring um, to get it through that hole, unless I'm totally missing something, which could be the case, but I don't know. Seems odd. But yeah, so we'll be um, trying to put that together soon here. You're so close to starting free motion quilting part of the project. I know, Michelle. So yeah, I think um, by early next week, we will be uh, sandwiching the quilt together, which basically means the top of the quilt and the bottom of the quilt and the middle of the quilt, which is the batting, the fluffy batting. Um, we will be ready to pin all those together so and we pin them together so we can temporarily hold them together uh, while we sew and then we take all the pins out 
So yeah, we will be doing that early next week. Yeah, so we will be we'll be quilting next week, I think. So I was going to take a little bit of a break in between the sewing and the quilting, but I think we'll get started with the quilting. Uh, there is a project that I'd love to do on here yet, and that's the um, the sketchbook cover. And I think I might stitch the llama. Yep, so Amy, we're still going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to stitch the llama onto... Um, a piece of fabric for the sketchbook cover. So we'll have a little embroidery session and um, then we'll do that cover with the zipper. Uh, I'm having, there's a little issue with books right now. So I'm trying to get my hands on a bunch of books in case you guys wanted to do that project with me and you, you didn't have the book yet because the, the project's from, from my book. Um, but the book is like out of print now, so I'm trying to get uh, my hands on um, copies. And yes, so I am going to have a kit for that as well, Gretchen. So uh, the kit will come with probably fabric and uh, it'll come with the sketchbook and a zipper and all the things for that. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll be, I'm trying to get my hands on some books just in case you guys don't have a book yet. Um, we have a lead on that. They all of a sudden, all of a sudden we just found out like, oh, there are no more books <laughs> anywhere, basically. So we're trying to scrounge some up. You know, we went to place an order for more of our books and then they're like, oh, we don't have any more. The end. <laughs> and we're like, uh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. That's ridiculous. Um, so now we're just trying to find some um, so we can have them available to you guys yet. Otherwise, there are no more books anywhere. Ow! Now, now I'm out of bobbin. Boo! How far back did that happen? Let's Let's clip as we go. We've been using up all my short little bobbins for this, like all my undone bobbins. You've been waiting to see that part, but got impatient and just machine quilted. You're charming, Trevor. Nice. Oh, you're, you're on the binding already, Michelle. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be starting soon. So for the, for the, um, quilting, I'm going to start by zigzagging in the or just going in the ditch of the of the chevron and then we'll work from there oh you did not realize you could get the book so you bought the book from amazon we, oh oh goodness that's awesome so actually oh glad you have your book yeah i'm glad you guys have the book too so on amazon there are very 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 limited copies and sometimes when you order it they actually don't have it so um the if, if it says it's on Amazon, it might not actually be on Amazon. So we're trying to get a, a hold of a few. All right, I gotta just reach around here quick. All right, let's see what bobbin we can use up now. I'm still, until we start quilting, I'm just um, still trying to use up bobbins. So let's see. Here's kind of a, a pink that would, would match. There's barely anything on here, but maybe we can get get through um, the edge. Um, you know, it looks like I should use this red, but this is actually buttonhole thread. It's, it's a little thicker. All these are thicker, so I'm sticking to, to this side. Here we go. Um, nope, they cannot just print more um, if there's a demand. That's, they just, that's, I don't know. Craft book publishers don't do that anymore. <laughs> so no, it's it's um it's donezo, I guess. Um and uh, you know, they were supposed to tell us and they did not. So that's fun, right? Um So we uh, we have a lead on getting a pile of them and we're going to we're going to try and do that. We're just having a hard time communicating or getting uh getting a hold of the place more than once. So um I do have a few books on hand, so we might just get going with the project, and I'm, I'll put kits together first. 
Um, but I would like to have more books available. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's kind of why we've been a little on hold with the books. Well, first of all, we've been working on finishing up all these, these new kits. And then, um, but yeah, next up is that book. And we're going to put a kit together uh, if you guys wanted to do that, the project with me here on, on the live. So while I put that together, we'll probably start the quilting. And uh, maybe we'll get through all the zigzag quilting first before we do the free motion quilting. So maybe in between those two things, we'll do that project. But we are still going to do the project. I want to do, there's so many projects from the book that I think would be really fun to do here. So that's why I want the books too, because we're going to do other projects. So we're going to take care of that. And then, uh, um, then then I'll let you guys know. And I'll, I'll give you guys plenty of time to get a kit beforehand before we start. So um, it's coming up. I will give you guys plenty of time um, to decide if you want to do it and, and um, to get a kit. And then, then we'll stitch it up. So we'll just stop wherever we are with quilting and do that. But all right, done with that side. Let's just rotate this puppy around. And man, you guys, thanks for the suggestion of this TV tray. It's kind of working like a little miracle right now. I'm, I'm so happy with it. I'm literally laying all the bulk over there. This is like a breeze with it, with it there. I'm very happy. But yes, we will be doing the sketchbook project. And if you guys aren't, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, um, look, I have it available here. This is the sketchbook we're talking about. I'll zoom up here for a little, for a sec here. It's, um, I, so here's where I thought I would do stitch the llama instead. And uh, what the fun thing about this sketchbook uh, cover is that it has a zipper in the back and it's the perfect size to store uh, pencils or markers or something like that in there and uh, pens you know it would even be you know like a, an emergency craft kit you could put a scissors in there or something <laughs> uh, so so yeah so I want to have um, fabric and um, a zipper I have, a, I have a bunch of colored zippers some white zippers and some colorful zippers and I think instead um, you can do whatever you want on the front I'm gonna stitch Maybe I'll stitch the beagle. I'm gonna stitch the, the llama or the beagle on the front here. And, um, or you can do it with felt. That's, that's how it is in the book. Um, this is the actual sample from the book. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna stitch an embroidery. So we'll do have a little embroidery stitch along and then we will sew it into this cute sketchbook cover. And I, I also have the sketchbooks. So the kit will be the sketchbook, uh, cute ribbon, fabric, and a zipper and then you know whatever you want to do for the embroidery is up to you guys but that is that's that's the project that we're kind of talking about here um and it's it's from my book and like i said we're having book issues for the past uh past um couple months here so we're working that out but i'm, I'm confident we'll work that out and then i'll get get um we'll probably have a pre-order for the kit um just so i know how many to get for sure of all the supplies and then I'll get it right away and then we'll start the project. So that, that'll be the plan. Uh, so I'll, you know, you guys here are the ones that are going to do it. So I'll, I'll tell you guys here, but I'll also um, let you guys know in the email, in my email as well. But yeah, so that's, that's the backstory. <laughs> That's the backstory on why we haven't started that project yet. There's been so much um, craft book publishing right now. It's just like companies are selling and switching over and consolidating and doing all this stuff. And, you know, I'm thinking authors are the last person, last people to know what's going on. But we're going to take care of it.
right. And maybe, you know, if we come up with enough ideas or if there's enough, um, you know, if you guys have a project that you would really love um, to see in a book or things you like making, like if you really love book covers or you really love, I don't know, bags or anything like that, let me know. And who knows, maybe we'll do another, another book sometime. Yep, Paula, I own all the rights. And actually, that was another thing we did. So I, I officially have the rights to all of my patterns back. So uh, um, you might start to see uh, a few things pop up in the shop. I don't know if we'll have the individual patterns for sale, um, but uh, we have some reject patterns from there that I really love. So we'll we'll um, do a little, we'll maybe do a little mini booklet of those. But yeah, so I have the rights back to them now, to the patterns. So um, now, now we can decide how we want to play with them for sure. Uh, Bonnie, the name of the book is Sew and Stitch Embroidery. And you can find it on Amazon, but like I said, it's one of those things that you place an order and they might not actually have it and they might not actually be able to get it. Um, it's also on my website, uh, penguinandfish.com. Uh, there, I have a few copies yet, and uh, um, I have about 20 copies yet, so kind of low, and um, we have a place where we can order more. We're just trying to, just, we're just in conversation with them right now, trying to get it all figured. But yeah, so I do have a few up in the shop yet. But yeah, so the that sketchbook cover... It, with the zipper pouch that is from the book and that will be our next project uh, I just need to scrounge up some more of those books um, I'll do uh, I know it's sometimes hard to find you know the right sketchbook size you can really do any size you want but if you want the size that it has in the in the book um, and the one that I that I'll be doing uh, I'll have those available and and stuff too. So um, stay tuned for just like a pre-order sale for for a kit. You can you can do you don't need the kit at all to do it. Um, you know you can find your own supplies or adapt it for like a, a notebook or a different size thing. Um, that is easy enough to do, and we'll talk about that a little bit while when we start. But I will have a kit available for um, pre-order, and I'll be able to get it to you guys before before we do the project. So stay tuned for that. That will be next up in the next uh, couple weeks. I'll get that together. You better remainder house probably has a stash of your books anyway. <laughs> well, Paula, that's what I, th so Paula, that's why, uh, that's what we think. Um, yes, so this is, my guess is a remainder's house. Um, you know, a place that just buys up the rest of a lot of books and then they just have them. Um, we're a little unhappy about that because we were supposed to have first dibs on that before they sold them to uh, a place like that, a remainder house, Paula. And we did not get first dibs, but there wasn't anything they could do about it at that point because they didn't have any more. But we were just placing a normal order like we normally do, and they're like, yeah, there's no more. So yeah, we were pretty upset with the um, publisher because we were, yes, exactly, Paula. Like we were supposed to have um, first dibs on that. Uh, so we were pretty unhappy about that. So anyway, um, we we might be able to get them from this place yet from from one of these remainders how remainder houses, um, getting a bunch of them for actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we can, I think we can get a bunch. Um, we're just trying to talk to them and it's not the easiest back and forth. So that's, that's, um, the thing. We get the size of their grade book. Oh, you want to make, um, of these, uh, 
these sketchbook covers. I think these sketchbook covers, uh, the awesome thing about the sketchbook covers, first of all, you don't have to do all the embroidery and stuff. You could just use some pretty fabric. And yeah, you could crank out a whole pile of them easy peasy. Um, it would be just, just the easiest, like, uh, gift to do a whole pile of them. I'm looking for an ender and, oh, here we go. I have another one here. So that's, that's why I love them. I might actually do that this year too. Just make a whole pile of, of those, um, of those sketchbooks. And I think I have, yeah, let's cut this guy off here too. So, okay guys, I'm going to pull you up here a little bit. Oh man, I can't snip that. I'm snipping all the little spider ends of it and not, not the actual piece. So here we are. We got these sides sewn on. So that wasn't too hard. That actually went so slick. So here is, I'm going to just tilt you guys. Here's my, um, my TV stand. And it's perfectly the same height as my table, which is beneficial. I mean, it's not as high as the, um, it's, you know, it's, three inches shy of my uh, sewing table here. But yeah, so I just laid everything on here and it's just been, it was awesome. So, all right, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we will call it an evening here. All right, hello again. Man, soon all of this red and uh, colorful stuff back here is gonna be gone. We're gonna, we're gonna be all sewing it up, but here we go. Uh, borders, starting to get, get, get these borders on. So now, now these chevrons are going to even float even more in space, which I think is going to be kind of fun. Yeah, like this one was all the way to the edge, and now it, it's floating on, floating on red. So yeah, so we will, uh, tomorrow I will be back in the living room over there, and I will have the ironing board out again, and we'll press these first so we can have like that distance just of the um, top and bottom. Uh, we want that like you know the flat basically um, and then we, we we already cut the top and bottom border so all we need to do is pin them easy peasy it'll be quick so tomorrow will probably be a pretty quick day and then uh next day we'll be back here sewing them on easy peasy two quick days just because i can't go uh, i would do it all in one evening but i can't go from there to here very easily uh for you know the setup stuff so that's why we'll split it up in evenings but that is the plan, and then Friday is Finish It Friday. Uh, I'm super stoked for that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what project I'll be working on. Uh, the Finish It Friday is the first Friday of the month. We stop whatever we're working on and work on another project, something that we has been sitting around and we need to finish it up. I'm tempted to do uh, the Splendid Sampler Border Quilting. Uh, that might be a good idea just because it'll get us into um, this quilting. Oh, and the hedgy. So in the past months, we've been working on the hedgy wall hanging that's going to go back here. I'm actually done with that. Oh, you know, guys, it's right here. Um, I don't think I showed you yet. It's right here. I just need to get a dowel for it. So here's, here's what I'm talking about with the hedgehog. Let's see. He's kind of big. sideways. Okay, I'm going to stand up. There we go. So the little hedgehog wall hanging. But yeah, he's all done. So here's those um, triangles that we did. I just need a dowel to, to get in here and then then we'll, we'll hang them up back there, I think. So that will be that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a weekend project probably, uh, and then so hopefully by Monday that'll be up there, and uh, so I think the project for this Friday is either gonna be the splendid sampler border that'll get us into quilt world, or I have some mending. So I have a shirt that has a couple little holes in, and I would love to um, do that woven mending. Uh, with some embroidery floss. I did that a couple weekends ago and it just was so fun and looked cute. And I thought that might be a little fun, sweet thing to do to do here as well. Just get some handwork in there again instead of all the all the sewing. So it's either between those two projects. Um, so think about Friday, what, what project you're gonna break out to <laughs> to work on, some unfinished project work. It's crazy, just a couple times and we got this hedgehog project done. That would have sat around for a year for sure. 
for sure I wouldn't have worked on it at all if it wasn't for these last couple months of Finish It Fridays. Just an hour a month and it's, it's getting done. It's crazy. So awesome. Um, that's it for the night then, guys. I will see you tomorrow uh, at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So thanks again for joining me and uh, check out the kits if you'd like one. Uh, the sale is only for three more days and then, uh, then I'm going to not have that bundle anymore and they won't be... Uh, discounted anymore either uh, so Friday is the the last day for that and tomorrow remember I'll have um, the video for um, doing the little tassels and the little yarn the yarn tassel guy there he looks cute on the wall <laughs> all right guys good night see you tomorrow